So to all of you non-believers out there who do not believe in my full moon haircut theory, um, I am going to put together some photos over the next year. I'm starting today, I just got my uh, just got my full moon haircut, and uh, the baby's getting her full moon haircut this afternoon. And uh, we'll see you uh, over the next year so that you can become a believer in the full moon haircut too. Seriously? You still don't believe me? Okay. So, now for a little bit of science. So here's what happens. The moon is increasing in size continually up until that moment that it is the full moon. And there is a an exact moment in time where the moon is at its fullest. In fact, if you Google the full moon calendar, you will see that each time that there's a full moon, there's a there's a time 2 27 a.m. and that's when the moon that the moment that the moon is at its fullest that's this point here and from that point forward the moon is decreasing in size so what you want to do is you want to cut your hair any time during the time that the moon is growing or the at the exact moment that the moon is full so let's say for example that the full moon falls on Sunday well, you probably can't get your hair cut on a Sunday, and so you would want to get your hair cut on Saturday. Um, let's say, for example, that the full moon falls on Friday at 2 a.m., so you would want to cut your hair on Thursday. So, as long as you get your hair cut during that time where the moon is growing, then you're good. What you don't want to do is cut your hair after the moon has started to decrease in size. One final thought, please consider that sometimes things happen simply because you believe in them. <laughs>